welcome to this video in this video i'm going to solve question 7 of 2020 gce mathematics paper 1 and question 7 was as follows given that a is equal to um, 2310 b is equal to negative 1 0 x 2 and c is 7 6 negative 1 0 and then we ask to find uh, the transpose of C as first question. Question 1, we ask to find the transpose of C. And question 2, we ask to find the value of X uh, for which A, A, B is equal to C. Okay. So uh, let's start with question 1, which is to find the transpose of C. Okay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to write the matrix C which is matrix C is equal to uh, 7, 6, negative 1, 0. Okay, that is the matrix. Then we are going to find the transpose of uh, matrix C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write uh, transpose. Okay. Okay, I'm going to write the transpose. The transpose there, I'm supposed to put T there. I don't know how I left it. It should be C and least the power of T or it should be C with a T, a small T on top there. Okay. Once I've done that, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to interchange the 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 laws uh, by the columns. So the laws will become the columns, and the columns will become the laws. Okay. So that means I'm going to pick seven there, seven six there, which is the first law on top there. Then I'm going to write it as a column. So I'm going to write uh, 7 on top and 6 down like that. Then later on, I'm going to uh, change the the second law into the second column, which is going to be negative 1, then 0 down. Then that is. Now that is the transpose of um, uh, matrix C. So if you have noted, uh, in other ways, what we need to do is just to interchange um, the position of negative 1 and 6. Okay. As you can see, the only uh, elements that have changed positions are negative 1 and 6 are the only one which have changed the position. The 1, the, the 6 which was on top has come down. Or uh, 6 has gone on the position of negative 1 and negative 1 has gone on the position of 6. So that is the transpose of uh, matrix C, C. Okay. Uh, if you are not conversant, you can still check on our videos uh, on the process of matrices. You will find where we talked about uh, transpose of a matrix intensively. Uh, so let's go to question number two. Remember all the uh, matrices I'll be talking about, uh, equal matrices, multiplication of matrices, you can check on the videos in our on our channel. And also on Facebook on our Facebook page, we have got uh, playlists that are called matrices. If you check on that, you find different videos on matrices. Now let's come to question number two, where we ask to find the value of x when we multiply matrix A by matrix B, and we get the answer which is in matrix C. Okay, so uh, this is um, this is. This is the matrix that you, this is the expression that will help us to get the correct answer. So we are told that when we multiply matrix A by matrix B, we are going to get matrix C. C. Okay, so that's the expression I've written there. So what is matrix C? A. So I'm going first to, to write the expression for multiplying these matrices, or I'm going to multiply matrix A by matrix B so that we get matrix C. C. So I'm going to write first matrix A. I'm not going to write their names, which means I'm not going to write A. I'll just write the matrices. So which is uh, matrices is 23, uh, 2310, which is multiplied by matrix B, which is negative 1, 0, x2, okay, which will give us the product, which is matrix C. C which is 7, 6, negative 1, 0. Okay? Now, once we've done that, then you are going to follow the steps that we use to, that are used to when you're multiplying. That what the, the steps we use when we're multiplying. So what we do when we're multiplying is, I'm going to open bracket down here. Then I'm going to multiply each law, by, each, law each law in the first column 
or in the first matrix each row in the first matrix will be multiplied by each column in the second matrix okay so what i mean is i'm going to multiply the i'm going to start with the first um row in the first matrix then multiply the first row by the two columns the each of the columns in second matrix so i'm going to multiply uh, two by negative one which i'm going to add to the product of uh, three multiplied by x okay if you're not conversant with multiplying check on our videos where we talked about multiplication of matrices intensively i'm sure there should be five videos there you can check on them and you learn a lot about multiplying matrices okay then the next thing i'm going to do is now i'm going to uh, open bracket on the other side i'm going to multiply uh, the first column what i've done is i've multiplied two multiplied by zero so the first law multiplied by the second column in the second matrix so the first row in the first matrix multiplied by the second column in the second matrix so two multiplied by zero and then three multiplied by two okay once i've done that then i'm going to use the second law in the first matrix which is one zero which will be multiplied by uh, the two columns in the second matrix which is i'm going to multiply one multiplied by negative one then which is going to be added to 0 multiplied by x okay 0 multiplied by x then i'm going to find the element which is going to occupy 2 comma 2 in our final matrix which is i'm going to multiply 1 multiplied by 0 and which will be added to the product i'm going to get when i multiply 0 multiplied by 2 okay once i've done that then i'm going to close bracket now i've come up with a bigger matrix there then i'm going to say equal okay then i'm going to say i'm going to show the one i'm going to multiply there which is i'm going to start multiplying uh, th that expression on top so it's going to be two multiplied by negative one which will give us uh, which will give us in negative two which will be added to uh, 3 multiplied by x will give us 3x so we're going to say plus 3x then we come to the other one we are, remember we're just on top on those uh, expressions on top so we're going to multiply 2 multiplied by 0 will give us 0 uh, which will be added to the product we're going to get when we multiply 3 by 2 which will give us 6 so plus 6 there then i'm going to come down here which will be positive 1 multiplied by negative 1 will give us negative 1 and that is 0 multiplied by x will give us 0 0 multiplied by x will give us 0 so we have added uh, negative 1 plus 0 the product of 0 multiplied by x okay let now then i'm going to come to this side where we have 1 multiplied by 0 which will give us 0 then plus 0 multiplied by 2 will give us 0 okay then i'm going to close bracket then uh, this expression I've made should give us the answer, which is matrix C. Okay, which is matrix C. See there, we have got uh, that matrix. That is matrix C. Okay, so when we simplify all those expressions in brackets on the left side, should give us this matrix, which is on the right side. Okay, so now, as you can see, uh, we can start with simplifying, but let me first open bracket. So negative 2 plus um 3x you as you can see these are not like terms i'm talking about this uh that expression which i've underlined there negative 2 plus 3x those are not like terms you can see 3 has got x it has a variable so we cannot add them so i'm going just to write them just like that okay that expression will be written like that then when we come to 6 plus 0 give us 6 so uh, 6 plus 0 will give us 6, so I'm going to write 6 there. Then we come down here, negative 1 plus 0 will give us negative 1. Then 0 plus 0 will give us 0. And then I'm going to close bracket. The whole of that should be equal to matrix C, which is 7, 6, negative 1, 0. Okay. Now, here where we have reached, you can see that uh, certain numbers, they are occupying the same position. Now, when we see that, you can see that 6 and 6 they are occupying position uh, 
1,2 which is uh, they are all six so what we're trying to do here we want to come up with the mat equal matrices so the two matrices that are equal that means each element that occupies a corresponding uh, position should be the same now let's check we have got uh, on one comma one we have got uh, negative two plus uh, um three x uh, where i'm talking about the matrix which is on the left side we have got negative two plus three x then this should be equal to this number which is seven now as you can see uh, they are the they are not the same they are not equal okay and when we look at uh, the number which is occupying one comma two you can see that uh, it has got uh, we have got six there and in the next matrix we have also got six that means six and that they are equal when we look at an individual element the same applies with negative one and this negative one they are equal they are occupying the same position and they have got the same value same applies with zero and zero they are they are occupying the same position and they have the same value so where we have a problem to make these matrices uh, equal is on position one comma one so what we're going to do we're going to find the value of um that expression okay which should be equal to seven okay so to do that we need to find the value of x okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to get that expression right it here that expression i've circled there the one i've circled in pink is the expression i'm talking about which is negative two plus uh, 3x uh, you can see that they are not equal to 7 so we need to make sure they find the value that can make uh, that expression be equal to 7 okay so what we're going to do is we're going to write that expression there negative 2 plus 3x which should be equal to 7 okay once we have done that we are trying now to find the value of x so that we can make these two matrices equal so what we're going to do is we're going to um, to solve that for x we are going to leave uh, the 3x alone on the one side of the equal sign which will be the left side so we're going to leave 3x like this then we're going to write 3x is equal to 7 then negative 2 is going to cross the equal sign go to the other side that means it's going to become a plus sign so it will be uh, 3x is equal to 7 plus 2 then I'm going to write 3x down here then I'm going to add 7 plus 2 will give us 9 then I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to find the value of x so which means I'm going to divide both sides by 3 so that I can remain with x on the left side of the equal sign so I'm going to come up with uh, the number that can go into 3x as well as into 9 so that is 3 itself so I'm going to divide uh, 3x by 3 and 9 I'm going to divide 9 by three okay, once i've done that then i'm going to do the actual division which is 3x divided by 3 will give us uh, x and then 9 divided by 3 will give us 3 so the value of x in that matrix is 3 okay so we ask to find x for which a matrix a multiplied by matrix b is equal to c and the value of x is 3 okay so basically this is how you solve um, the matrix or the letter in the matrix uh, if it's given like that if you have got questions you can ask in the comment sections otherwise thank you so much for watching it has been easy learning z mathematics the future is bright see you in the next video and god bless you